Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to customize your MX Revolution mouse on your Mac. So, you can customize any button on here. All these buttons you see, you can customize them to do whatever you want. To do this, you just need your Logitech Control Center CD that comes with um, almost any Logitech device. So you want to install this on your Mac. And then when it installs, it, it installs into System Preferences. And you'll see it down here under Other. Click that. And you'll see these are your Logitech devices. We want to configure the MX Revolution. And it comes up with a list of all these different configurations you can do. Left button, right button, the scroll wheel, tilt left, tilt right on the scroll wheel. So my favorite is actually the tilt left and tilt right because it controls my sound. So when you see on this, if I click this or um, tilt it left, my volume is decreased. If I tilt it right, my volume increases. So I think this is really awesome. All you have to do is select it, make sure you click sound control, and under details you just click configure volume control, and then you select what you want to do. If you don't want to have sound control, you can select all these other options. Sound control, nothing, click, advanced, cruise, uh, horizontal scroll, keystroke, modifiers, open applications, all these different things. So you can f configure this mouse to do whatever you want pretty much. Um, same with the right one. You just make it increase, decrease, or mute. Now, thumb back button. This is that button right here. When you click that, you can have it do pretty much the options I just showed you. Mine opens mail. So I selected open application. Configure open application. Which application do you want to open? Mail. So now when I click it, you'll see on screen it opens my mail. The forward button is the same. It opens application, but it opens up Safari. So when I click it, Safari opens up. The one touch search button, you can make it search with either Spotlight, Finder, Google, Yahoo, or a custom URL. Mine is on Google. So you'll see when I push it, I don't know why it makes that noise, but it goes straight to Google, bypasses your home page and everything. Okay, so the thumb wheel forward, mine's a keystroke. What a keystroke is, is when you um, push it, like mine is set to push forward, so I push forward. Mine would be command or command C, which is copy. So if I selected a piece of text, push it forward, it would copy it. And the backward one, <coughs> excuse me, is back, is actually um, paste. So if I pushed it back, it would paste. So it's the same thing, you just select which modifier you want to do, command, and then you type a key, V, which is paste. The thumbnail button actually does expose, dashboard, and spaces. You can also customize it. It's pretty much the same on a Mighty Mouse. You just push it in, and it should do expose, but mine's not working for some reason. And that's basically how you customize your MX Revolution on your Mac. On your Mac. If you have any questions, just ask me. I'll be sure to answer them. I recommend this mouse to pretty much anybody because it makes life a lot easier on your Mac. You don't even have to go down to Safari or Mail. You just push the button on your mouse, and it opens up for you. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video.